Hey guys, and welcome to part 12 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Supernatural. Um, totally not where we left off. Don't you love how I say that all the time? Like, all of the time. Um, <laughs> as you can see, they have, they have a lot more money. I pretty much spent Wednesday, uh, which was yesterday in Sim Time, um, having Destiny do the conversion ritual, which she did not level up her magic skill, but she spent the day doing the conversion ritual, um, converting things to rare items, uh, or, or extraordinarily rare, or whatever it's called, um, in order to sell them for money because I built them a new house. Um, I don't know, I don't know if I said this on Twitter or not, but I did. I built them a new house. I, I got bored one, one night. It was really, really late. I was like, okay, they do need a new house, so... It's, I promise you guys, it's nothing, it's nothing special at all. It's really not anything special or unique. It's just a bigger place for them to move into. So we're not so crowded. Even though I kind of like this house, I just feel like it's a little bit too crowded. Um, there's not much that we can add or take away. And of course, I do want them to have children because the, the Sim children, you know, supernatural children, children are adorable um so i built them a new house bigger house um and also what did i do i just had i had caleb uh level up his alchemy skill seth did a bunch of hunting zara she did some gardening she didn't really do much um she fixed a few things in the house but um other than that that's pretty much all they did they spent the whole day and they actually kind of built their relationships up just a little bit um, as you can see, some are higher, you know, um, but that's, that's it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and have, uh, we're going to have Caleb here, uh, move and we're going to move into the house that I built them again. It's like, it's nothing special. So don't, you know, be like, Oh my gosh, you built a house. I, I suck. <laughs> I really do. Uh, so let's see here. Alrighty. So. And the only reason we got, like, I think we got, like, 14,000 simillions or something like that, or, f no, not 14, 5,000 or 4,000 simillions is beca because we kept getting the sunstones, uh, which was pretty cool. So this is the house that I built them. As you can see, it's, like, really big. I, I did not do any, I did not do any landscaping at all. <laughs> it's, it's barely furnished, you know, we're just going to have to you know, furnish it as we go. So let's go ahead and, um, move. Yes, it's barely furnished and everything, but it is furnished, so. We're just gonna move. Did Zara? Oh, yeah, we have some stuff we need, because we we're gonna have to create a brand new garden and everything, so, yes. We're all gonna move. <laughs> But yeah, it's just a nice little house for them to expand and things like that. They're taking forever to get to the darn car. I'm going to miss this house. I kind of liked it. I thought they were going to make Zara walk. Yeah. That would have been hilarious. I don't see her in the car. She's apparently in there. In the front seat. She's probably in fairy form. <laughs> I know she's not. They disappear. But darn it. She's in fairy form. And again, I did no landscaping at all because I could not afford it. Uh, so this is the new house. I'll pause it really quickly before they go in and ruin it. But uh, this is the new house. As you can see, the doors are open. I tried so hard not to turn this house into this modern thing because there aren't really any modern homes in uh, Moonlight, Moonlight Falls. So... You know, having one really, really modern house in the whole entire neighborhood, I just felt it wasn't, it wasn't appropriate. So this is what I came up with here. I don't know why. Okay, I'm like, why is that fairy house, like, silver? Ooh, big rock. Who can collect that Zara? Okay, so hopefully it's worth a lot of money. <laughs> and it hopefully it keeps responding, responding if it is. Okay, so anyways, this is the house that I built. Again, it's nothing really special. Um... It's nothing really, really special. It's not even furnished, you know, like, really. <laughs> I 
Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump into it. I do want to say, though, well, I'll, I'll show you guys once we jump into it. Okay, so time to jump into it and show you guys around a little bit. I'll put the walls up a little bit here. Okay, so first, when you walk in to the house, I guess we can do it this way. It's a little bit easier. Uh, when you walk into the house, zoom, 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 zoom. You go in, and then I just, you know, you have this main hallway. Um, straight down this room, th down the hallway, the last bedroom, uh, which is actually, I love the windows. Um, this is going to be Caleb and Destiny's room, right here. And uh, you go, if you turn this way, here's the kitchen. Uh, I This stuff is from Supernatural. I, talked, I think I used almost... Almost everything in here is from Supernatural. Probably 95 to 90% of the items are from Supernatural or the base game. Um, but these, this stove and this thingy here, the processor and the refrigerator are all from Supernatural. And I love them. Absolutely love them. Uh, here's an alchemy table station thingy. And here is a little chair from them obviously to either food I will be changing this stuff up a little bit again as we get more money it's just gonna be a lot easier alrighty uh, living room here seriously I, this this um, living room area was actually fully furnished well not fully furnished but it was furnished a lot more <laughs> than it is now um, I had to delete almost everything as you can see uh, so they could afford to move into it. So this is what the living room looks like so far. This room here will be Seth and Zara's room or Seth's room because Zara's probably going to sleep in her fairy house because she's a little horror like that. Um, so yeah, this is like Seth's, Seth's werewolf room. <laughs> and over here is an empty room. Walls aren't even painted. It's going to be the nursery. And then back here you have a bathroom right here. This is the main and only bathroom. Um, there was another room like this over here, but I had to delete it uh, because we needed the money. Um, and uh, I will be rebuilding it. And of course, I'm going to put like a magic, um, not the magic, but the the hidden bookshelf door right here where Bone Hilda's coffin is. And you guys know I had to splurge on Bone Hilda because we kind of need her. <laughs> Um, and then that room is just going to lead to um, either stairs going upstairs or downstairs. Um, but there there will be stairs going downstairs to a basement, which will be where the alchemy station. And it's kind of going to be just like a, you know, a magical layer, I guess, if that makes any sense. Um, the one thing I do like about this house is it's just really, really easy to build upon. I could easily turn this into a study area. And then put some doors here or a hallway here and extend it out and create like one or two more rooms very easily. Uh, same thing with the with the other side, like with the living room, you know, I could easily just put a hallway right there or something. And then, you know, it kind of goes out and I can build more stuff and I can also uh, put stairs, you know, anywhere in here going up or spiral staircases. There's a lot that I can do with this house pretty much. Uh, and that's what I wanted. I just want it to be really, really easy to build off of. But this is the finished product. This is what they'll be living in until they uh, make enough money to until they make enough money to move into something that was purchased already in in Moonlight Moonlight Falls. OK, enough of me talking. I can talk for days. I'm actually kind of really excited to you right now because I guess you guys will see in the next part. Uh Couple, a couple more parts maybe in the next part I don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see okay so um this is it <laughs> uh who's going to collect that go collect that so they're all kind of moving in alrighty and then we're gonna have we're gonna have Zara he or Destiny here call and adopt our cat you guys told me just to adopt any cat it doesn't have to be a black cat it can be any freaking cat so we're gonna get the cutest cat I can find they're all looking around. Every okay, everyone's all moved in. I moved. <laughs> She's freaking out. I don't think he. Oh, oh, maybe he's just mad at Destiny. 
They're like, we went from actually having a house to this shit. It's like bigger though. That's all that matters. Okay, so here are the cats that we have to choose from. Miley. Uh, let's see here. Boo. Uh, Benji. Zoe. Snowshoe. And Izzy. Alrighty, let's see here. Um, I kind of like, she's adventurous, but she's noisy. Uh, Miley's noisy too. Zoe is a girl. We don't want any damn Ichabods. Or, not Ichabod, who was her first aggressive cat? <laughs> I don't even remember the bitch's name. That's why. Okay. Uh, Benji, he's skittish. He is skittish. And he's an adult. He'll die soon. Uh, Boo is a mixed kitten. Uh, neat, skittish, and friendly. Can we live with a skittish cat? Izzy. Izzy's a kitten, and she's playful. Looks like Izzy is the one we're going to choose because she's not the cutest, though. He's the cutest. I guess she kind of could be cute. She'd look like... I don't like her darn tail. I guess I don't know. What should we do? We can always give it up for adoption, right? That would be sad. You know, adopt a pet. I'm, I'm talking way too much. Okay. Um... <laughs> See what would happen if you lived in, in the same house as me? You don't want that. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and get... This bitch is noisy. We're going to have to train her. We're just going to train her. Let's get Miley. Let's get Miley. Because she's the cutest. We're going to change her name. Let's change her name to Fishstick. Or Fishy. Fishy. Should I, should I name her Fishy? I'm going to name her Fishy. It's just a cute name for a cat. <laughs> Alright, so let's get Miley some stuff here. Hmm. Alrighty. Like we can afford anything. Everyone needs to go to work. Nobody has to work today, which is kind of cool, but kind of sucks because we don't we can't really afford anything I don't think this chick needs a bed uh let's throw that there because we can't afford a bed oh she needs a kitty litter box darn cat where's that expensive one that cleans itself where's the kitty litter box that cleans itself oopsie here at all, oh, that's three. Can't we cannot splurge on three hundred millions? So we're just gonna have to clean our darn kitty litter box. Ew, 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 ew. Let's put it in the bathroom. There we go. Okay. Bone Hilda has to clean it anyway. It's not really. She found a large space rock. Fishy is being cleaned up and checked out. Uh, to come home to you. Go home. At least we can uh, sell this space rock here. And you, why don't you go ahead and make gourmet pet food, pet food, fish pet food, of course for fishy. <laughs> but yeah, I still kept the essentials and everything like that. Um, now we need Zora, or Zara, to kind of. Is my cat coming in a cab? Okay, I'm like, is my cat really coming in a cab? The pet adoption place couldn't. Uh, ride the train. Oh, she can ride the train. Let's see this here. Where's the darn train? Oh, right there. Ooh! <laughs> that is actually really cute. Is that a bee? That is really cute. How cute is that? <laughs> I've always wanted a train set, seriously, like this, like a realistic one. Not a realistic one, but like a big one like this in like my house. Like, I've always wanted that. And I think that's supposed to be a little lake over- That is so neat. I should build one. I think I will do that. It's so time consuming now. I don't know how to build a train either. I guess I could buy a toy train or something. But as far as constructing this table, I could definitely do. It would take time. And I definitely have the materials. So, it's pretty neat to have. Um, let's see here. Zara. Destiny. Whatever your name is. Check. Uh, fill this boat with pet, pet food. Fill with gourmet food. Um. Why don't you serve up some lunch here? Uh, grilled cheese sandwiches for everyone. Even though they're not really that hungry. 
That is so cute and neat. That is really cute. I have to move this bee thing away. Those bees, like, getting into the house kind of bothers me. So we're going to move it over there. Oh, they're still in the house. Yay. Alrighty, here is... Oh, we still can't afford an adoption van. Where's our kitty? Oh, here is our kitty. Oh, God. I bet when it gets ugly, it gets older, it's going to be like ugly as all hell. But there is our kitty. Oh, when does she age? Fishy. Fishy Klein. Oh, she ages up in one day. Oh, she's so cute, though. I love the kitties. I love them. <laughs> I really do. Who's getting the cat? Oh. Investigate Strange Sim. Really? Oh, that's the cat doing that. Okay, I'm like... Aww. I think, I think they're falling in love all over again. Let's go ahead and uh, do some... Do some romantic interactions. Get them all friendly and fuzzly. Fuzz... Flip fuzzly. What kind of word is fuzzly? Fuzzly with one another. Uh, shy kiss. I would try to give you flowers, but you know what? <laughs> we can't really afford those right now. Uh, give an amazing massage. There we go. And their relationship is really, really high. Alrighty, uh, kick it up a notch. What's your cooking level? Level five. Okay, so we need to go go ahead and com start converting some people here into werewolves. We don't really know any sims that are not. I mean vampires. We don't really know any sims that are not vampires. But whatever. What are you doing? Yeah, watch TV. Learn that cooking skill. There you go. Good girl. Alright. Yeah. And he is brooding. Let's see. Use the bathroom. And let's see. Where can we go to have a actually actually he has some uh he has some uh things that I wanted to try out. Actually, no. I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna go around town and make people fat. <laughs> That's what I did. I forgot. I created um, the large and in charge and the lean and mean um, potions. So we're going to go use them. We're going to go to the vampire lounge and make people fat. That's just mean. I guess that's what they meant by you could either choose to be a good witch or an evil witch. You know what I mean? I guess. Kind of. Change someone's body, like, body type without their permission. You know? Because some people like being large. Some people like being thin. Just, you know, that's just mean. So, let's see here. And then you can make people look like extra super thin. So, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Alrighty, so, who wants to be large and in charge? Janet! Janet! Let's throw this elixir at Janet. Oh, Tristan, isn't that the guy that was hitting on her? I think so. No. No. That was the other guy. Alright, so we're gonna go throw this elixir at Janet. Uh, oh, and then we can throw it at Melissa, too, and make her thin. Oh. Uh, well, okay, here. Where is it? Large and in charge. Uh, throw elixir at Janet. Hello, Janet. Oh, she's our vampire. She's a vampire. Oh, what does it say? Boom. Thanks to that sudden splash of large and in charge, Janet is large, in charge, wet, and confused. Why is she wet? Oh, from the po- Shut up. I knew that. Okay. Uh, lean and mean, throw it at, uh, Melissa. <laughs> that is so funny. Let's throw this at Melissa. 
Come here, Melissa. We're gonna make you lean and mean. <laughs> Is everyone like laughing? Okay. Oh God, diet drinks never worked for Melissa Conklin before. <laughs> Maybe it was all that fake sugar. But who cares? Time to go shopping for new clothes. Isn't that right? Look at that. Looking on the bright side. The glass is always half full. Alright, let's go ahead and do a magical makeover. Why is everyone, like, laughing at people? This isn't high school. Grow up. Or elementary school, I guess. Because actually, people in my high school, some of them were a lot more mature than people say. I guess it varies. He's like, hey, dude. Oh, look at Caleb looking all spiffy like. What the hell? What is that? Did you guys hear that noise? Oh, it's a ghost. She's like flaunting her new body. Yeah, go in the room filled with men. Try to be a little dirty whore. We need to drink from someone. Do we are we friends with anyone? Uh here, no, but we do have someone oh of course Melissa likes her. Uh let's see here. We're gonna make Melissa think about me. Um Let's intimidate her. I wonder if we can intimidate her. Or hypnotize her. Oh, he hypnotized himself. It didn't work. It didn't work. Alright, so we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. <laughs> Ask about alma mater, uh, discuss matters of etiquette, uh, enthuse about new house, get to know. Uh, let's see here. Gossip a little bit. Oh, we can do the hypnotic gaze again. Oh, darn it, I could have. There it is. Ah, oh, she learned Babaloos. Babaloos. I know it's probably not Babaloos, that's just what I call it. No. Oh, Bully Boss. Is that right? Bully Boss? I think I remember hearing that somewhere. I think that is it. Bully Boss. I think. I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. Come on, Caleb. You're taking forever. Oh, come on, Caleb. Sheesh. Now try it again. I think it's working. Alright. See, doesn't know what to do. She has been dazed by Caleb's hypnotic. Well, I think he'll let her drink from her now anyway because they have they have like a high enough relationship of course uh sure darn it shit oh, um, and then let's offer to turn her screw you i don't want to turn you anyway uh why can't we like, intimidate her. Let's try to intimidate her, then. We already got our blood, you know what I mean? So intimidate her. Larbus. Huh? Oh, crap. I wish I could have... I wish I could have seen that. Sheesh. <laughs> it didn't work. Oh, she's brave. Screw... Can we, like, slap her? Let's see if she'll turn. She probably won't turn again. She won't. She definitely won't do it now. She's like, screw you. Oh, I want to just slap you. Uh, darn it. That sucks. Go on home, Caleb. Epic fail. Epic fail for the night. Oh, 
I forgot about. Oh, I should have gotten our kitty a bed. I think I'll give our kitty. I don't want the cat sleeping outside. I kind of feel bad. Kind of. Not really. Maybe a little. Not really. Alrighty. Cat sleeps in the kitchen. In the corner. Uh, you move over. Wake up anyway. It's not even time for you to go to bed. Uh, let's see. Where are you? Oh. Um, why don't you serve up some... Firecracker tofu! I didn't even know you knew how to make that, chick. Uh... Okay, she sleeps whenever she pleases. Actually, no. Eat leftover chili con carne, and then... Oh, where, where's your fairy house? And then you can go to sleep. Actually, you stop. Just go to bed. You have to go to work in the morning, I think. Yeah. You guys have to go to work. You don't, though. Well, you do, but you don't. Alright, guys. So, we're going to end this part right here um, for Tool Die. And then, I I know for, po for, for positive. <laughs> I know for a fact that next week... Um, I will be showing you guys the full moon, so definitely stay tuned for that. And, yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. You will have a super fantastic, awesome, splendid, amazing day. Bye, guys.